We are the Vantage Career Center ECE2 group, and we will be presenting for public advocacy. And our project is called, Are You Comfortable Yet? I'm Kirsten Klein. I'm Adriana Myers. And I'm Kelsey Roberts. This is our evidence of the online summary sheet. And this is our project planning process. We identified the concern of people not wearing their seatbelts because they believed that they were uncomfortable. We then set a goal to provide people with the education to understand how important it is to wear their seatbelts for all people in the vehicle, including car seat safety. We then formed a plan, and with that plan, we had a meeting to decide who was taking on what roles on January 8th of 2021. We had that meeting in the Early Childhood Education Lab at Vantage Career Center. We then contacted the agencies to ask how we could work with them to get the word out about seatbelt safety. We then used $3,200 to purchase our brochures, our flyers, our suckers to hand out to the student body, and our car seats that we were then going to donate to our partners later on. We worked with Mrs. Ozengay, our FCCLA instructor. We uh, talked to Megan from Wilkinson's Printing Company, Jamie from Walmart, their PR person from Walmart. We talked to Stacy Ford from the Northwest uh, Ohio Family Healthcare Clinic, and we worked with uh, Ms. Owens from Vantage Career Center. We will then evaluate and reflect on how we could have things we could have improved in our project. Our act was we had a meeting. We wanted to do something for our community, but we were unsure how we were going to do that. Kelsey then shared her story with us and we decided that we were going to work for seatbelt and car seat safety. We then decided who was going to take what role and that everything that you signed up for had to be done no later than February 4th of 2021. We then had a few issues with not being able to set up a fundraising booth at Walmart due to COVID-19, not being able to work with the Northwest Ohio Family Healthcare Clinic due to COVID-19, and Graco not wanting to, not being able to work with us due to the fact that we are not a large, large corporation. We then advertised around our school by um, putting brochures on the tables in the commons by discussing on the morning announcements about our Google form and by placing flyers around the school. We then did a presentation in front of three different classes. Our follow up is that we will be continuing to work on getting yard signs to get to continue to inform our community about the importance of seatbelt safety. And then this is our table of contents. And then this is our issue. Our issue, we found that not enough people in our community were wearing seat belts, so we wanted to do something to fix it. And then we also noticed that children were not being buckled correctly in their car seats, and that the, the seat belt safety for the old and young people. For not wearing your seat belt, you are breaking four laws. The first law is the breaking seat belt law. Those parts include of the seat belt safety law include, include the buckle, the anchor attachment assembly, in the buckling device. And this is breaking the Ohio Revised Code 45136 or 263. The second law you're breaking is the breaking child passenger safety law. This law is any child less than 40 or under 40 pounds or less than five years of age must be in a restraint. Oh, oh my, so when not wearing a seatbelt, you are breaking four laws. The first law is the breaking the seatbelt law. This part included in the seatbelt safety are a belt, the anchor attachment assembly, and the buckle or the closing device. This is breaking the Ohio Revised Code 4513263. The second law you are breaking is the breaking child passenger safety law. Any child less than four years of age or under 40 pounds must be in child restraint while being transported in any vehicle. This is breaking the Ohio Revised Code 4511-81. And then the third one is child endangerment. It's counted as abuse of any parent, guardian, or custodian 
to any minor or mentally or physically disabled person under the age of 21 causes or poses a huge health risk or risk their safety, and this is breaking the Ohio Revised Code 29-19-2-2. And the last one you are breaking are the effects of fatal injuries. This is a written report of a murder vehicle accident, and this is the Ohio Revised Code 5502-11. Our issue research. Some of our concerns that we found are the safety of adults and children in our community from not wearing seat that aren't wearing seatbelts. So many people go every day not even thinking twice about wearing seatbelts because they don't think that anything is going to happen to them. Children are getting injured in car accidents from not being buckled up properly or being in the wrong sized car seat. Around 37,000 people are killed in car accidents and 47% of them were not wearing their seatbelt. Pros of wearing your seatbelt are, there's a less chance of death in a car accident. Seatbelts save around 13,000 lives every year. Avoiding, it avoids getting a ticket when you're, if you get pulled over, and there's a less chance of fatal injuries and less likely to hit your head off the dash when coming to an abrupt stop. Cons of wearing your seatbelt are being uncomfortable, getting bruises or marks from seatbelt impact, or getting trapped in your seatbelt when in a car accident. Our project goal. Our project goal is to educate others on seatbelt and car seat safety. We persuaded our peers by putting brochures and flyers around the school about, about seatbelt safety. We then wanted to have our peers uh, have a better understanding of car seat safety by putting that information in the brochures. And we influenced people to wear their seat belts by handing out suckers to our student body whom were wearing their seat belts on the way out of the school parking lot. We also, put sign, we also plan to put signs around our town uh, with our project name on them to influence the community to wear their seat belts. Elevator speech. We are, we are doing a project called Are You Comfortable Yet to spread awareness on seatbelt safety. We want people to realize how important it is to buckle, the, buckle up. So many people do not realize how important it is for them, themselves and their children that they are buckled properly. We don't want to see people getting injured or killed over one simple task, so please do us and yourselves a favor and buckle up. Our leave behind is our leave behind is we created a brochure that we then handed out to Vantage Career Center. We handed it out to the uh, adult education part of Vantage Career Center and we placed our brochures on the tables in the comments. Our target audience. Our target audience. Our target audience is teaching young drivers the importance in the drivers in the community. Our opinion before doing this project was that there was not enough people wearing their seatbelts or children buckled in properly. We sent a Google form to the class of 2021 and the class of 2022 and to our staff. The population of the student staff here is 439. And then the Family Consumer Science Standard 1.2.3. Apply communication skills in the school community and workplace setting with the diverse population. Our partnerships were work Vantage Career Center, the High Department of Job and Family Services, the YMC, uh, YWCA, the Van Wert Pregnancy Life Center, and Wilkinson's Printing. Throughout this seatbelt safety initiative, we have partnered up with above mentioned agencies to provide car seats for those in need. We applied and received for the $1,000 fax grant, which allowed us to purchase up to 15 car seats. Our methods of action. Uh, we took brochures down to the adult education advisor and Miss Kate Tyler, Kit Tyler, to give to to have them available for our adult education students. I made phone calls to Job and Family Services, the YWCA, the Pregnancy Life Center, and the Van Wert County Fairgrounds. With the Van Wert County Fairgrounds, we plan to put up a sign in front of the fair. Kelsey then made an announcement on the 
morning announcement to the staff and students to fill out the seatbelt safety Google form. I also put brochures on each table in our commons to help get out information to our student body. We also presented our presentation to our junior ECE class. This is our thank you letter from our lab instructor, Mrs. Marsha Ozenbe. We also presented our presentation to Mrs. Grouthouse to the VCC class. We then presented our presentation to Mrs. Smith's cosmetology class. This is our thank you letter from Mrs. Smith, the cosmetology teacher. Adriana and Kelsey have then checked two of our preschoolers' car seats to make sure they were properly buckled in their car seat. We then handed out suckers to our student body on the way out to school for those who were wearing their seatbelt. Then I then talked to the preschoolers about how important it was for them to wear their car, or their car seat correctly. Media involvement. These are different medias we have reached out to and still in process. Vanderbilt County newspapers, Delphus newspaper, Photo Star, Vantage Career Center, and their websites. The results of advocacy. On the Google form, we had 186 responses. 42% of the school had participated, and then the results show that 60% of the students and staff wear their seatbelts all the time. And then this is our works cited page. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.